back to my channel. For today's video, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're actually at my friend's house, Anita. Hi! Hello, everybody. My name is Anna. I am a photographer and a paparazzi consultant. Super excited to have my friend Jessica over because she's spoiling me with some goodies. So we're actually going to be making albondigas today. Um, and you're going to actually come in the process of this. Um, we're actually going to be doing a two-part video where we're going to be actually cooking it and then we're going to be doing like a mukbang, I believe that's what it's called, um, with maybe like Q&As or like a Facebook Live or something. So we're going to be doing that as a part two. So um, we're also going to be on Facebook Live, so if you don't catch us on Facebook Live, then you'll see this video on YouTube. So if you want to see how we make albondigas, then keep on watching. So guys? So she's making albondigas. I call them meatballs, but she says that they are officially called albondigas. So I don't see the difference. I'm translating. She's a Hispanic <laughs> one here. I'm technically not cooking. She is. I'm just watching. All right, we're gonna bring you a little bit close up so you can see. That was a five pound. Oh. How many? Yes, the pots. Wait, are you? Is that is that an extra two pounds? Yes. She's making seven pounds. Of our bondi guys. I'm also gonna make some for my uh, making enough that way it could be enough for uh, my soy rolls too. Oh, I'm gonna put. Oh, this is the seasoning I'm gonna be using. These two for the carne. Yeah, she says she likes garlic sauce. I yeah, I really do. Let me tell you something, guys. I don't do meatball. I don't do ground beef. Why? Because I make I it salty. I washed my hands already, by the way. Oh yeah, she did. I, I was. I, I promise. Even though. Oh yeah, you did say that your meat comes out uh, salty. salty all the time. Like, I don't think I've ever like. I only put. I start with a little bit, and then I like add. I kind of just eyeball it. So I just kind of. See, and I feel like I did the same thing, and then it just comes Do you like use super salty. Regular salt or like garlic salt or onion powder. No, I, I, I sometimes I use like. I like seasoning, so like I'll and use like, the, like this one. the perfect seasoning. What's the other seasoning? Not garlic salt. I'm taking notes. Oh, this one. That's not that. Oh, yeah, that's the season all. Sazonador total, Goya, the perfect seasoning with pepper. Pure screenshotting, just in case. <laughs> I'm going to cut um, some onion into like little bitty squares. And um, I record, throw it in there. Mm -hmm. already all like I mixed it all so it's the meat and it's seasoned and then I don't know if you can see some rice some onion some cilantro so my fingers are like frozen frozen I'm gonna add one huevo one huevo so the meat can stick to each other stick together sorry stick yeah. to each other did you hear me has it stick to stick to each other Where my hands get all nasty because I gotta get my fingers in there. Woo. Okay, then you mix the huevo in there. It's a lot of meat, so I was like, would just one huevo work? But I guess I'm just gonna do one huevo so I can stick together. I gotta mix it for on YouTube and her Facebook Live, so come check it out. Well, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go help her. Try to help her. I don't want to be lazy. Okay. 
So, they look big here, but they're actually like not really, really big. Like yes. if I put it in my palm. Have one today. Bye. I'm not a big, big meat lover, so I'm not making them like too, too big. And the pot over there is boiling halfway, and it's a pretty big pot. So far, this is how many balls I have. That's on it's so weird. Look, all these, and this is how much meat we have left still. So. Trying to make balls as fast as I can. So. Okay, this is my last bolita. Woo! Yay! No more so crying. So these are all the bolas we made. At the goal. Uh, Look. How much do you think? I, this is like seven pounds of. No, right, but I'm, yeah, seven pounds, but I'm saying like how much. Bolitas? Yeah. I don't know, should I sit there and count them when I put them in the water? Yeah, and see if anybody can guess right. Can you guess how many bolas are here? <laughs> For real, how many do you think, guys? Okay, so we're gonna, I'm gonna actually count them, but I'm gonna count them so you don't see so you can guess how many bolas are in here. Cause look how, look how big this is. Yeah, it's a whole container. And it's pretty full. Is it a high? Yeah. Yeah. I was like gonna stick my finger in there. Nope. Why is that, is it boiled? It's starting to. Can I just wait? Yeah, just wait until it boils for sure. Yeah. So it cooks okay. faster. I'm almost done with all the bolas. I only uh, put water halfway, but I think it was a good thing because like when you add all this, like the water goes up. So I guess it was good that we only put half. Oops, that was splashed. And I bought, I usually put like um, crema into them too. Like whenever like the, the plate is done with, I put crema on mine. I forgot to buy crema to be honest. I put sour cream but, and aguacate, but I want aguacate, but forgot the crema. Yeah. What it looks like right now. See? It's like a caldo. It's, it's basically like a, I guess in a way like a caldo. Can you see it? So this is what I'm gonna be using. So this is what they're, they're looking like so far, these little meatballs. So I'm just gonna swirling it around a little bit just so I can get the color of the chipotle. I'm gonna add a little bit more because that literally, usually I add like one or two, but I'm just gonna kind of add it like this. Yeah, right. Like, I make it like how you're making it, uh -huh. but I do the whole, like, I would add all that you're adding to it. Oh, okay, okay. Like, I just add a sazon. Uh huh. Which and one? Then I just add the water. And Which then, one do you do? I use caldo de pollo. How long was that out there? We didn't see it. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, no, it's a turning. Or not. I don't know. Okay. So that's how the rice should look. I'm like, <laughs> once it's already, like, browned. I put the onion in there and start stir frying and put the garlic and then I put the cilantro and the tomato and then I put the, the consomme and then I uh, throw the water and then put the top on and then let it do its thing. Hmm. You'll, you'll taste the difference, I think. I'm pretty sure. Different. I've never, like I said, I've never done it like that. Like I said, my mom usually fries her, her little bolitas or her tortitas, however they call them. What's that? Tortas de carne, so they're like basically what you did, uh -huh. but except she doesn't add rice to it in the bolitas. And she fries it. She fries them, but they're called tortas de carne. Ah. And uh, she makes it with red sauce at the end. You can either use ragout sauce or make your own sauce. So it's kind of like like spaghetti meatballs almost, no? Ah, uh, yeah, but they're tortas. What do you want it for? For the garlic. Oh, uh, that's a lot of garlic. Do you want water? Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have to put water in here. Yeah. I mean, my cups are in there. You wanna use this though? The cups are in there, but if you wanna use the cafe, and this, this looks really good, bro. I'm gonna take some of that top leaves because of the, 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 what's it called? The chipotle has its own grasa. 
me. Hey, so we are doing a question. If you have any questions about photography or food itself, just jump on, ask questions. It'd be awesome. Um, we both are photographers. Uh, she does boudoir, maternity, family, everything. Technically, pretty much everything. If you have a birthday, she does it. Smash cakes, wedding, weddings, baby showers, bridal boudoir, bridal boudoirs, which is like you know they you know if you got a wife and she's sexy, you know it. That's what she does. She makes them even sexier. Um, what else? Yeah, she does everything. And she's obviously a YouTuber. And she likes to cook. What do I do? Uh, I'm me. Okay. I take pictures, guys. <laughs> Any questions? Somebody has a question. So I sell paparazzi. Okay, so my rice is cooking. And some garlic, the minced garlic, I think. Listen. But I'm gonna show you a little bit. Man, I'm excited to get more maternity dresses. Oh, yeah. Maternity dresses. So we're doing a closet. So it's one, two, three, four. Four of us, right? Uh -huh. Four of us, right? Is there one missing one? No. no four of us, four photographers who are building a closet for maternity for moms maternity like you know moms to be you know with big belly moms so we have like really cute dresses um she is actually the one who started the closet she was buying stuff and then she was so kind enough to let me borrow once one and we went from there and then she started collecting them i started collecting them then we were all just we collecting. collecting them <laughs> so now we're all collecting them so we're just gonna make we made a big closet for us for to share around and you know bless the mom so they don't have to worry about you know a dress if we don't have it then you know obviously you know it you know we will we'll try to help but we are trying to get a long variety of dresses let me show you something so here is some of the mom dresses that we have my boobs are really quick so this is a yellow one this is really pretty it's a flowy dress super big super pretty so if you know any moms who like the color yellow we have beautiful gowns for that. If you like milk baths, we have a blue one, a red one coming soon, and this white one. It's a lace, sexy one. And obviously milk baths, you know, deal with flowers. We put flowers around it, milk, um, we'll powder. I do powder, some people do milk. I do powder too. So I don't like wasting milk, so I just do the coffee powder and it just it smells vanilla, it smells yeah. good. And, and it's awesome. Yeah, and then they're pregnant, they're like, oh my god, that smells so good. Yep. So we have two uh, two of these, blue and a white one, a black one coming soon, a red one coming soon. We're trying to get a pink one, but I don't know, we'll see how that works. Um, well, like I said, we're trying to upgrade our stuff. So, yes, if you have any questions, I mean, if you're, I, I understand the whole COVID has everybody like a little crazy, you know, like, you know, being very enclosed. And it sucks though because I feel like being pregnant is the biggest, most beautiful moment of a woman's life. Rather than graduation, making your promise proud, getting married. But just becoming a mom, it's like a whole stage of our... unlocked. Yeah, pretty much. Because, <laughs> you know, it's it's crazy though, you know, a lot of a lot of us, you know, sometimes have the insecurity of having to have a kid. So when we're able to have a kid, it's really a blessing for us. So... Us photographers try to do the most of it to try for this time to be as special as it can. So we understand that it can be crazy, but Jessica is being safe. I'm being safe. We make sure to be safe to provide you the good service. So if you're anybody who's pregnant and are just debating if they want to take pictures, we are here to serve you. We are here. We're down. Like we'll make it safe for you, safe environment. You know, we're just trying to. Not only bless you, but you bless us by giving us the opportunity to take pictures for you. All right, I am going to hold it like this. Look at mm -hmm. the beautiful cilantro, rice, I mean, onion, and tomatoes. I'm going to put the onions first. Let's go for rice. Look at the rice. Ooh, look at that angle, though, Jessica. 
Oh, that's cute. You know, I was thinking about doing something like that. Like, you know how you can hook them on to the top? Oh, yeah. Like, your camera just hooks your phone. Here, Is that my phone? I don't know what that is. And she's mixing it in. Woo! Hi, Adela Castan Castanon. Oh, that's my suegra. Hi, suegra. We'll take your device. You can't turn. What? I don't know. It said rotate your device. Hmm. Oh, all right. Let me. Rest. Oh, hold on. Just still adding. <laughs> I can tell I need to work out, guys. My arms hurt like doing this. Mine's doing the carne. Okay. Oh. Look at how beautiful they are. Oh. Mix it, mix it, mix it. Look how delicious that looks, guys. Then I learned how to do a new way of rice. I added a new way to do rice. Look how much it changes the, the smell. This is the garlic. Oh, it? yeah. It smells good, huh? Yep. Oh, right there. Look at that. Beautiful. And this is not only, guys. Meatballs. I need to take that the top layer off them because the the chipotle releases a lot of like uh, like uh, fat. I guess yeah, I guess it's considered like fat, la grasita. Mm -hmm. And I always wait, let it sit first, and then take all the grasita and then and then do what I'm gonna do. Gracias por estar aquí. Mi amiga Jessica está cocinando albóndigas con chipotle y arroz mexicano. Hay el rito, pero no es mexicana, so I'm gonna let Jessica do that one. <laughs> What? You know, the Mexicano? Oh, I don't know. I, I've never done it. <laughs> 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 if you want to see how the food is going, let me show you. Mm -hmm. So these are the meatballs. Well, I let it sit so I can get the grasita out. And so, I yeah, she's... The, the so she's throwing the grasa away, and this is the rice right here. Because when you let it sit, the, all the grasita sits at the very top. And I like to take it out so it don't be like greasy. So I just did that right now. So I'm turning it back on so it can finish boiling and then I can add that. Ooh, squash. She, so she's gonna add squash, guys. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, she's adding the zucchini. Not the zucchini, the squash. Squash. The squash. Is it called zucchini? No, it's no the other one is kind of Yeah. You know, this tastes really good with, with chicken. Yeah. I like the yellow one better though. I don't know why. What's the difference? They're not different. It's just I like the yellow better. Oh, me pasa la tapa? Oh, ahorita. Oh no, I'll get it. What is it? La tapa. The blue. Yes. I know you oh. just sat down. No, I have like. Uh, okay. I'm just getting old, dude. Yeah, guys, we're gonna go. We're gonna go chill out for a little bit. We'll be back. The food's almost ready, so you'll see a whole bunch of reactions for that. Bye.